My mom tells me when I was like two or three, I had this Mickey Mouse guitar and I would make everyone leave the room and I close the doors and like I would tell everyone they couldn't look and I would like run around with the guitar and jump off the couch and throw it in the air and stuff like that. The first songs I remember were like Linda Ronstadt and uh, Prince and these songs I remember being in the back seat and just like wanting to hear them the next time I got in the car I was like I hope the radio plays that song again that I heard last time. Colors, uh, I think um, that song I brought in, into Group Love from my last band, Alok. But I wrote that song in New York at like a really dark time in my life. It's just like a reminder to 
kind of hold on to the, the good things you can hold on to and just kind of fight, you know, through the challenges you're going through. Describing our songwriting process is impossible because there's no method to the madness. Most of the time, if, if we're lucky, what I consider our best songs sort of just flow out in a stream of unconsciousness almost. Like the lyrics come at the same time as the melody is the same time as everything. It all just comes out together. It's just kind of being open to it arriving in a way and hopefully it's like your body is like needing to tell you something from the subconscious. I think that's the best way they're written when you're not like trying to write it and you just like sometimes you haven't played a guitar in like three weeks and you sit down and you play something and all immediately you're like I know what this song is. It just like it comes to you and you just kind of channel it from like some weird place you don't understand. I think you find your sound by doing it all the time and really like going through the motions of finding yourself. I think you just have to like go through it and eventually you kind of figure it out. Did I ever tell you about the tree in my backyard? I wasn't looking, I knew you could Oxygen Swimming was the first song that we wrote after we had a baby. I was honestly pretty tripped out that I couldn't write with the responsibility of having a kid. And like, I just thought, I thought maybe I like, she took my creativity. And so she was asleep one night, we were sitting out on our deck and um, we wrote like eight songs that night. And one of them was Oxygen Swimming. When I'm singing that song, I feel like it's just 
looking back on these moments in my life that kind of led me to where I was. I think I started playing guitar um, because I started playing with these my best friends in high school and there was already a really good bass player and a really good lead guitar player. So I naturally fell into playing rhythm guitar and I started writing all my own songs on it. Um, I had played piano my whole life, like writing songs on piano. That was the first time I was playing guitar, is like just learning Nirvana songs and wanting to convey uh, that emotion and pain that, that I saw with Kurt playing. That's like really struck me and I wanted to like get that out of me with a guitar because it was much cooler than a piano at the time. The museum kind of came from this awesome day we had in Seattle. We were touring there and Hannah and I woke up early um, and went to the EMP Museum and saw like the Nirvana exhibit and this awesome Jimi Hendrix exhibit. And right after we left, we drove to Olympia and went to this guitar shop in Olympia. And I remember we got there and I went upstairs and like grabbed some old acoustic and just wrote the song. Because I was so, I think, moved by the experience at the museum. We were like yeah. talking about um, that song and just like walking through art museums and we always think about that song museum and how there's this sort of like uh, quiet understanding between artists that you're, there's like an element of suffering in your job and of sacrifice. And so even if you don't necessarily love each other's art or know each other's work or ever met someone because they've already passed away, there's just this um, connection. It's like kind of undeniable. And so that song always makes me think about that. Yeah, we went to the museum and all our dead friends were there. Cause sooner or later we're all gonna run out of there. La -da -da. Our dead friends are there